Hey, what's up? Today I want to talk about listening skills. How the different types listen based on their MBTI type. So, if you're talking to somebody, right, and their eyes look like this, or their eyes look like this, or they're correcting everything you're doing, or they look like this, they're feeling everything, you will know what is their, you kind of can tell what is their type just by how they listen. I'll explain. I'm an ENFP. ENFP means that I lead with an NE, an extroverted intuition. That means I am seeing all of the outside world in an exploring way, and I'm seeing what things mean. Intuition, intuitively coming up with ideas and connecting things and all that stuff. So when I'm talking to you, intuition is not very sensory based. I'm grounded. I am here. It's much more like like feelings. Feelings is imaginary. Feelings is so intuition is similar. So if I'm listening to you, I'm gonna look like this. And I'm gonna have all these ideas of everything you're saying and I'm connecting everything. So it might look like I'm not so present in what I'm listening, but I'm listening in a in a very, very imaginatory way. So in a certain degree to a certain degree it's actually not the greatest listening skills because I'm not listening to your feelings and everything as it is. But at the same time, though, there's a benefit of listening this way because I'm now assuming my imagination and my intuition doesn't go to opposite ends of the field. I am going to be tying to the last time you felt this way, the time before, and how that connects with your work assignment. And that it connects to the, I'm going to be having this connecting this whole broad picture and having all these ideas inside about what you're saying. So to a certain degree, it actually is an even a far better, a far, you know, farther reaching listening ability that ENFJs possess, ENFPs possess. At the same time, though, there's a certain benefit of, let's say, talking to somebody who's um, like an ISFP. He just kind of like, he leads with an S, with, 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 with an SFP, leads with like an ISFP, leads with this kind of like, just thinking about things how they are, and he kind of will just be like listening to you as is. Totally just, but at the same time, you're not gonna be getting the same amount of feelings compared to if, let's say, you're being listened to by an I, ready for this? I, N, F, P. An I, N, F, P, or an I, S, F, P. They lead with this like, Feelings, inner feel, sense of feelings. So when they're listening to you, they're, they're listening really intently and they're feeling everything. And they're such good listeners. It feels so good. They're feeling everything you're saying. And they're not just jumping all over the place as much. Because they lead. Their primary function is an inner feeling. My primary function is NE, extrovert intuition. So I'm leading with this more strings flying all over the place. The FI, even, even an INFP, even though they have intuition as their secondary function, since their most dominant primary function is that FI, they're really taking in feelings very much as is when they're listening to you. And those people are awesome to listen to. Now, if you talk to an S, someone who leads with an SE, so let's say let's take an ESFP, so they're going to be looking around at things when they talk to you. They're going to be listening to you. They're not going to be tying all these different things together. They might be tying like sensory facts together, like, oh, so when you were over there, it was different. And they're going to be looking at your clothing. They're going to be noticing people passing by. They're very sensory based in an extroverted way. So they're, they're also not going to be the greatest listeners, but they have a lot of feelings. So they're going to have like these voices that are telling them like, you got to listen to take care of their feelings. So they're going to try very hard to be very good feelings and very often it can be very overwhelming for es yeah you can for esf for esfps to listen because they have that feeling factor that's telling them listen 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 but it's so hard for them to listen because their eyes are all over the place because of the sensory things they want to see next istj they lead with this correcting things a little bit in inner introverted sensory so they're not noticing feelings nearly as much. Feelings are basically unimportant to a certain degree. And 
They're listening to you, and they're just putting the facts and tying a graph together, and they're seeing what doesn't make sense because they end with a J. Where the judgment, where they want to have a certain sense of understanding. So they're going to be like, but wait, why didn't you do this? And why did you do that? And it's going to seem like they're nasty, but they're not necessarily nasty. Their leading function is this inner sense of, of what is correct, what makes sense, what fits in the graph. And what you're saying doesn't fit because you should be saving up this amount of money so you could go on this in this trip. So based on how people listen is basically the reaction you're going to get. So if you want a certain reaction, you got to find the person who's going to give you that reaction. And not keep going back to the people who don't listen in the style that you like. Some people like when an NE listens. They like that all over the place, tying things together, and they're willing to sacrifice. They're not getting that inner sensing of experiencing everything you get. They can maybe get to themselves to a certain degree. But they want those connections. They're very self-validated, let's say, on, on their thoughts. They want the connections. They want... But another person, they're all over the place, and they're not grounded at all, and they want... Somebody to just be grounded and just listen to what they have to say in a grounded way and kind of let it kind of sink into their sense of grounding. And those people are the people that I want to listen. I want to listen to me. So th listening skills, you know, a person can work on them and stuff. But at the end of the day, people have primary functions. People have a function that they use the most, that's the most mature, that they prefer to go to, that they lead by. And it's very hard to stop that leading function from acting of who, out, out who it is when you're doing activities. And that's why when someone's listening to you, they're most probably going to be in their, in their leading function. And this also comes to really speak to, our, speak to ourselves, like me, for example. I leave with this NE. For me to try and be this, like, I'm just going to listen to what the person is saying. Just listen intently. It's not nice to myself because... I lead with an NE. So I'm going to stuff my NE so I could pretend that I'm just like listening as is and just to like feelings, do we got to do? It's, it's, it's not practical and it's not, you know, people are also going to pick up on it and they're not, and they're going to see that it's not real. People want you to be who you are. Dude, get with the program. Anyways, that was a complicated one. I know that was a complicated one. Um... Let me know what you think.